What up, nomads? If you read my blog or follow me on Instagram, it's absolutely no secret how much I like merino wool as a travel-friendly fabric. So, it's only natural that I'm a big fan of the brand Allbirds, a company that started as a New Zealand shoe startup and has exploded into a worldwide B Corp shoe and clothing brand. In this video, I rank Allbirds products from the ones I think are ugly to the ones I think every travel lover should own. Let's go. So I've grouped Allbirds shoes and clothing into some general categories to make this video a bit shorter. So I'm gonna cover 12 ranking spots. At number 12 are the Trino puffer jackets, which Allbirds launched last year. These come in two colors for men and women and have pockets and a two-way zip. The Trino puffer shell is 60% merino wool and 40% tensile lyocell. The coat retails for $250 US. Now as a Canadian, I'm super picky about coats and although I love the look of this one and there's no doubt that the choice of fabrics is eco-friendly and high quality, it just doesn't work for me at that price point. I need more wind blocking, I need a hood, zip pockets, and a few other features. So for a fall jacket, it's fine, but personally, I don't think this is a winner. Number 11 are the sweaters. Now the sweaters come in three models for men and three for women in a few different colors. And they range from 135 to 175 US dollars. I love a good wool sweater, but these aren't special. And for that price, I would expect a little more. Yes, the sweaters are thicker than your usual Uniqlo or H&M Premium Merino wool sweaters, but I still think you can get a good one from brands like Smart Wool for a more reasonable price. In spot number 10, I'm grouping together all the tree flats. Allbirds tree fabric is eucalyptus, which is super innovative and cool. I just happen to think that these are ugly shoes. In spot number nine, I've grouped together the latest release of hemp summer clothes from Allbirds. The camp short and shirt are made from a blend of hemp, tensile and spandex and are available in men and women's sizes. Now hemp is a fantastic fabric for travel. It's even better than linen. So I do like the set in theory, but I think I like it most for men. I wouldn't necessarily buy this kit for myself, but I think it would look really cool on a guy. In the same vein, the ladies rib tank and dress launched with the hemp line and this gets my spot number eight. I like that it's a blend of merino wool, hemp, and trino, and I could see many women getting good use out of these travel essential styles. But style-wise, it's just okay, and that's why it's in spot number eight. Next up in spot number seven are all the tree sneakers, dashers, toppers, runners, and pipers. Now you already know how I feel about the tree fabric, cool in innovation, kind of ugly in look, so you probably aren't gonna be surprised how I feel about most of the shoes in this category. Now these are all pretty different products, all the shoes that I've grouped into this category, so you might not think that this is very fair. I have a pair of the Dashers and I like them for working out. They are sustainable, which I appreciate a lot, but in terms of function, I find they're missing a bit of grip on the toes for all the types of workouts I like to do. The pipers and toppers have similar flat bottoms while the runners have a more curved sole and the dashers have a full on tread. As you can guess, my main hang up for these are the fabric, so they don't really get my must have seal of approval. In position number six, the Allbirds socks. Socks are probably one of the best investments you can make in the comfort and health of your feet and really your happiness on a cold and wet trip. I love merino wool socks, and I like the feel of these socks, which are a custom blend of tensile, merino wool, recycled nylon, polyester, and spandex. They have some wool, but are also really cool and comfortable. So this is mostly a good review, but the pair that I have pilled almost immediately after the first wear, and even more after the first wash. So I really don't like the longevity on this product, even though I love the feel and the composition of the material. I think my number one company for socks is still Smart Wool. Number five are the wool loungers. This is actually the first Allbirds product I ever bought about four years ago, and I still love them to this day. I think they're great. I've worn them as slippers a bit outside the house, washed them a bunch of times in the washing machine. 
I know that 95 US dollars is a lot for slippers, but I've gotten my money's worth. I recommend these so much, and if I lost them, I would definitely replace them. In spot number four, the Allbirds short and long t-shirts. These are so comfortable, cut really nicely, and are so soft. The composition is mostly tinsel and merino wool, so not quite as much wool as some of the other merino wool tops that I have, but easy to wash without being afraid of it pilling or shrinking. I have one of these t-shirts and I've already gifted two and plan to buy more. So now we're at the top three. In spot number three, the classic wool shoe. This is the OG Allbirds product and totally deserves its top three spot. I have had mine for almost as long as the loungers and I've put them through so many travels from hiking the Bulgarian mountains to cottage trips, San Francisco, British Columbia, and so much more. I wear these without socks and have washed them in the washing machine a ton of times and they always come out looking great. In second spot, the Allbirds underwear. I love their underwear. It's been a revelation to me and I can't stop buying it. Their underwear is made of 65% tensile lyocell, 28% merino wool, and 7% spandex. They are soft, have the perfect amount of elastic, come in a few models that work well for my body and the clothes I like to wear, and their sizing chart was pretty accurate. The bra is pretty basic, so my feelings are lukewarm, but the underwear is A+. In first place, drum roll please, the Allbirds Mizzle line. The Mizzle's shoe line comes in four models and are basically the same as their wool line, but with next level fabric that is treated with weather repellent product. They are expensive since the weatherproofing adds like $30 to each pair. However, if I were to lose my original wool runners, I would get the Mizzle's for my next version. You get all the comfort of the wool on the inside with the protection of the Mizzle fabric treatment and extra grip. So there you have it. This was my review of the Allbirds line. I hope this was helpful. Leave a comment below if you have questions or to share your favorite Allbirds products. See you in the next video. Happy travels. Thanks for watching this video until the end. For more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the Capsule Suitcase and turn on notifications so you get all the fresh content as soon as it comes out. Thanks for supporting this channel. Happy travels.